Okay, guys, so... I, yes, I am crying, but... This... This whole experience of being an owner-operator, um, driving an older truck, I'm having all of these new experiences. Like, I'd never broken a spring before. I'd never lost a clutch. I'd never lost an input shaft. And I am so, I'm so thankful that I had both hands on the wheel just now. Um, if any of you are from here and you know where I am, I'm on 84th Street between Marysville and Granite Falls. And it's a two lane road. The speed limit is high. I think it's 50 through here. And I lost my steer tire. It's one lane in each direction with no shoulder. And I almost lost the truck off the road. I, I, I thought it was gone. I thought it was gone. I was headed towards Granite Falls. Like I said, I thought I thought the truck was gone. I thought we were going in the ditch. I'm empty and when it blew out, I had both hands on the wheel, luckily, and I wrestled it, I fought it, and luckily there was no one around and I was able to jerk it back up onto the road. I didn't hit the brakes. It, I just let off the accelerator. Um, I popped it into neutral, not because I meant to, but because I didn't know what I was, it was, a, it just happened. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. And I used all my strength to let it, to keep it on the road because it was obviously, it was the passenger side tire that blew out and it took all of my strength to keep it from ending up in the ditch. I thought that all of it, all I've worked for was going to be crushed. I was so scared. I don't think I've ever been that scared in a truck. and looked at both the steer tires was about three loads ago. Um, I, it didn't feel any different than normal. It didn't feel like it was, um, like it was pulling to the right or anything. So it didn't seem low to me. I don't know. It's kind of the part
parking spot of shame a little bit. Uh, I know you guys probably can't hear me very well, but it's kind of the parking spot of shame because you can, like, everybody's driving by here. Everyone I know, I've gotten so many calls and texts. Everyone's like, are you okay? Gotten a couple offers for lunch and uh, a couple other things. Um, everybody's doing a good job of looking out for me. I, I'm incredibly lucky. That's all I have to say. I'm incredibly lucky. I'm lucky that my instincts were right and I'm lucky that I was holding, I had both hands on the wheel when it happened. I'm incredibly lucky. So I've calmed way down and everything's okay and I've got a new wheel and tire. Um, my tire guy Curtis said the wheel is probably salvageable so I did decide to replace the wheel now and then he is going to bring um, a second uh, 14. a second brand new steer tire to the house tonight to go on the driver's side so that they match. And um, and then he's also going to bring my wheel with him and, because we're going to keep it. Um, might be useful later. It's a little, it's a little scuffed up, but it should be okay to possibly use again. Okay, dump truckers. So update. Last night, Curtis came by the house and he told me that when he got back to the shop, he looked at the tire and the tread was intact completely intact. You saw that earlier in the video. Um, but I did not, I personally did not look at the sidewall and he did. He said that there was a puncture in the sidewall. So I think what happened, and this is also what he thinks happened, is that I was driving down the road and there was something in the road that I drove over and it popped my tire. But all in all, it's not a big deal. All I have to do is replace, I did replace both steer tires and I replaced the one wheel on the passenger side. Realistically, the situation could have been a whole lot worse. Uh, I could have crashed the truck and I would be now paying my $5,000 deductible and shopping for a new truck and then having to pay stupid high insurance. Um, that would be the next probably best case scenario. And then the other one would be that I got killed. I mean, that would be like the worst situation is to blow out a steer tire crash. And there was like a little, there's a little ravine right there and all those trees. And yeah, I mean, just a few weeks ago, a dump truck driver uh, was involved in an accident and he passed away. It's, uh, it's scary. I mean, any, any riding in any vehicle or driving any vehicle is scary. Well, thank you guys so much for all of your support. Uh, this has been a crazy road and I think it's just gonna get crazier from here on out. I really appreciate each and every one of you watching and I will see you guys next time.